Now this is the uh, glass plate that's supplied with the printer and uh, you've been given a couple of uh, sheets, little adhesive sheets that you can pop over the glass and uh, once you've used them there's also a little painters tape it looks like uh, supplied on a reel. Now I won't be using either of them uh, what I will be doing is sanding the surface down putting a very fine micro uh, cuts over the top and the idea of that of course it gives a, a bit more surface area for the um, the actual models to stick and in theory it should uh, hold a lot better than tape but we'll soon find out yeah so I'll be uh, using this sort of thing which is just a little sanding plate and uh, obviously putting a bit of water on it and give it a bit of a bit of a going over and hopefully getting a bit of a uh, a nice scratchy surface on there which uh, in theory should um, give the adhesion that I'm after Yeah, I think you can see the uh, micro scratches starting to appear now. So I'll keep doing this and uh, get the surface completely covered in it so it's like a frosted sort of finish. And then I'll be uh, ready to go to the uh, next little section. And there's the uh, sheet of glass after I've sanded it. And it's got thousands of uh, little micro grooves in it. And the idea, as I said earlier, is so that the uh, glue stick will obviously have a place to hold and the um, print itself will have a, a larger surface area and it should physically stay on the plate. Um, a lot of people have success just with the uh, straight glass but uh, the sanded finish I think is a much uh, better option. It looks like it's printing absolutely perfect and that's on the uh, scratched glass that I've put in and I've used a glue stick over the top, just a very light one, a light wipe I should say and uh, it's adhering perfectly and printing spot on. So very happy so far. We're at 9% uh, of the print at the present. Okay we're at 17% uh, now. 18% has just popped up to. Print's looking pretty good. Soon find out, of course, once it's uh, completed, we'll have a good look at it. I'm very impressed with this printer and uh, really can't fault it. Well, I certainly hope I can't fault it, I'll put it that way. What I'm printing, of course, is a stress relief uh, which is supplied on the SD card. And I think that's uh, one of the must-haves on this printer. You really do need a stress relief on the um, on the y-axis um, for the actual heating bed. Otherwise, you're going to have a bit of a problem there. You'll get the wires will flex and eventually uh, possibly break, and uh, that'll cause you no end of grief when you're trying to print something. We're on the 50% uh, mark at the moment, the halfway. And uh, still looking pretty good, can't argue with this, except you can't see anything. <laughs> Come on, move to the back, get onto the next little bit so we can see it, please. Yes, as you can see it uh, definitely listens to me. Yes, it hangs on every word I say. As if only that was true, eh? <laughs> there we go, now we can see it. And uh, looking mighty good at this point too. We're on 99% uh, 
and uh, one hour 21 minutes have gone by so the print is nearly finished won't take long at all now and there we are the finished product it's looking pretty good it's uh, stuck beautifully to the glass which has got the little scratches all over it and of course I've got a little bit of uh, glue stick on it as well and that is still solid as a rock it's not going anywhere just uh, so you guys can see um, thoroughly recommend that uh, method of uh, adhesion for your actual models it's a lot better than mucking around with tape that's for certain and uh, I suppose I should really see if it fits together and uh, I definitely can't can't complain with that no stringing no nothing and uh, it looks pretty good not bad at all okay